Hello everyone, this is Satyan here and I welcome you in Daily Dose series of Tableau Visualization. I was going through the comments into my YouTube channel and I got that a lot of people are requesting to clarify, you know, the blending and joint concept in Tableau. So I thought let's create some video so that we can explain the concepts, doubts and clarifications over blending and joints in Tableau. So let's go ahead connect to sample superstore we'll just select microsoft access we'll go to desktop and i have you know some of my data into raw data table over here we'll connect to sample superstore and you can see i've connected to one excel workbook that is sample superstore and over here i have three sheets right the good thing over here is if you select your main sheet or you can call it main table then you can look at the other fields also wherein you have you know region or some other information so for example let me kind of drag returns over here and if you drag it you kind of join them using your common column right so what happens i'm connected to only one data source it could be your excel it could be your sql server database it could be your oracle right which means one data source multiple tables right and i have key columns i can join them basis some key primary key or foreign key that kind of relationship we can build right the point to be noted here is that this join is going to be on row level so it is one to one relationship right that each record of orders is going to get related with returns table right the drawback over here could be if tables have one to many or many to many many relationship so in that case you will get a lot of duplicate records now duplicate records can be resolved after table join is created but the problem over here will be the increased amount of data it will cause you the performance issues right but this is the same scenario what happens in in any traditional database whether it is oracle sql you can perform those joins whether it is your you know inner join outer join or left and right right if you can go back to your sheet you can do the relationships and you can plot your data which is coming from different tables whether it is coming from orders or it is coming from your returns so you can have you know maybe let's say order id or maybe you can plot count of order IDs, which are coming from returns and your category is coming from orders. So this is the kind of one of the way through which you can represent this. You can go ahead and add some other fields, for example, order date, and you will get your chart in different, different visualizations, what you want out of join. Yes, guys, this is based out of joins. So over here, in case if it is not inner then it could be create a problem because the number of records will increase but otherwise it is super performant and you can use it if you are connected to one data source right now let's take another scenario wherein you are connected to multiple data sources so what i'll do for demo perspective i'll go to my data source We'll connect to Rx sheet over here. We'll connect to Rx and then we'll go to sheet. So over here, you can see that we are connected to one data source. We can do any visualization which we want. But in case, let's say you are getting some fields from another data source, let's say from distribution. And for that, you need to join these two data sources over here. In case you are connected to only one data source and you let me just close this and then we can see that what I'm talking about. If I close this, we are connected to only one data source. We are connected to only one data source and we'll go to data over here. The blend relationship is disabled. You don't have any other option. But as soon as you connect to another data source, maybe Excel, select distribution. Come here. We are connected to distribution. We'll go to sheet and as soon as you start getting two data sources over here then if you go to data data tab blend relationship will be enabled now right so which means 
blending relationship you can perform only if you are connected to multiple data sources which means more than one now over here what happens over here by the time you don't go and enable the relationship you don't see any clip icon over here now what I'm going to do is I'll take some field from my Rx data source and as soon as we do that you will see the blue icon over here which means this is the primary data source for this workbook I'll select distribution and then you can see the clip icon is enabled over here which means you can join your both data sources basis these fields as if now the region is the field basis which your data is joined so I'll go ahead and drag some field from distribution data source let's take distribution cost and you can see that data one more thing if you just click on this red icon once again red clip icon which means you want to stop the join you will see that you are getting the complete aggregated number basis distribution if join is not enabled so if you enable it again you will get the aggregation done by regions which means if you don't activate the relationship in blending you get the overall aggregated data that specifies that in blending your data is getting aggregated and then you join it right which means aggregation happens first and then you join your data so in those setups obviously the performance is fast or faster than join another thing blending is never one-to-one -one, which means you are not joining on record levels you are joining on aggregated category levels right the main and important point to be noted over here is that data blending can only be the left join right that's the limitation with blending it doesn't have any other joining criteria and because of that because of that it is very limited by design right so the scenarios wherein you need to use more than you know left join or some other capabilities I think joins are the features which you can depend on data blending can be more flexible for quickly changing and linking properties on the fly for ad hoc analysis uh, we can take the example that data blending allows data sources to be linked on alias basis which means you can change the data source name it won't impact right you can use the you can use the alias names so there are the key differences what we just went ahead and saw that joins are record to record joining or linking whereas data blending is done post the aggregation it is not one to one it is limited to left join whereas joins have more capability right you can perform you can perform left join outer join inner join many other things right but the drawback of join could be let's say if you're not using inner join the number of records will increase a lot in case it is a cross join and in that case there might be a performance hit so guys keeping these major factors in mind you need to choose that which option you are going with right there is some design constraint keeping the best practices in mind you can go for optimization and speed in mind you can work with these two concepts either you can choose join or blending right this was the high overview what I shared over here in this video please feel free to drop your questions suggestions and thoughts I will be happy to explain those as we go further until I post another video stay safe have a nice day